Welcome everybody to our Halloween episode of The Lockup, episode 22. <laughs> I'm your host, Ho um, I couldn't, I was going to say horrible, but horrible doesn't go right with Junior, so whatever. Jagged Junior Ruiz, alongside Bloody Bly Brian Adams. Brian. Brian. <laughs> He's Brian. Brian. We're tired. Um, so this week... Halloween special episode of the lockup where we're going to be discussing the best, uh, in our opinion, at least Halloween evil slash costumed characters in the wrestling world. You know, um, I try to keep the list of 10, but then as I kept adding more names, I was like, Oh yeah. And then this person and then that person and then this person. So I've got a list here about 17 names, give or take. Mm -hmm. Um, and in no way, shape or form are they in any specific order. So, like, just care. Excuse me, characters that um I believe over the years had some sort of impact. Well, not just because of their wrestling style, but because of their look. You know, uh, that's probably why they're on this list. Right. So let's start off with the current demon monster on the roster, Kane. Some Kane. Some Kane. It's corporate Kane. Back in '98, when he first appeared at the Hell in a Cell match between Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, dude. That was creepy. He looked like a legit big red monster. Right. As opposed to how he looks now, where he's just a joke. But nonetheless, he's still, quote unquote, the demon. Um, I'm sure there's still children out there in the WWE universe who are scared of Kane. You know, I mean, because dude is ugly. Plain dude, is, dude is ugly. But uh, still scary for the, what it was. You know, the, they got the point across. Especially what it was mid to late uh, 2000s where he... Um, uh, when he had won the Money in the Bank contract and became the World Heavyweight Champion, he was like, you know, the masked bald cane, but very right. deranged. Remember that? That yeah. was that was kind of creepy. Yeah, that was creepy. Uh, moving on. With the weird contact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Marilyn Manson contact. Pretty much. Um, dude, Undertaker, of course. Obviously, Undertaker. But I'm leaning more towards the Undertaker and the Ministry. Ministry of Darkness. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get any more dark than having Ministry of Darkness in your name. Right. You know, that's when Undertaker went on full, I'm just a silent dead man to I am some dark satanic lord kind of character, you know? Yeah, absolutely. It, he took it to a, a whole new level. Yeah, I agree. Very uh, very weird, very different. Um, <laughs> you want to talk... Uh, Evil Incarnate, the corporate ministry. Ooh. Nah, I was leaving that <laughs> off. Just the, the Ministry of Darkness it was, was a enough. joke. It was a joke. Oh, you want to talk bad jokes? Sure. I got a bad joke for you yeah. that I actually made a note of. Is it, is it? John Cena made this list. Do you want to know why? Why? Because he's a ghost. And you can't see him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I walked right into that one. When you said I had a joke, I was going to be like, what is it, Boogeyman? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, Boogeyman is actually on my list, though. As, I, well, uh, yeah, as he should be. Yeah, he was uh, another character who came out, very creepy entrance, very creepy ring music, the look. And the guy ate worms, man, live worms. I had worms yesterday, but I had gummy worms. This yeah. guy ate live yeah, worms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just nasty, you know. Uh, moving on. Dude. The little big man, Rey Mysterio. Yeah. In his lucha outfit. And in his rest his last few WrestleMania appearances where he was coming out dressed as a different character. He came out just as Daredevil, Silver Surfer, uh the Joker, the Heath Ledger version, uh the Avatar from James Cameron. Huh. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah. I did and, not know that. Yeah, he would come out in different uh different outfits. Really cool. But Ray always had his mask and his pants match, you know, like I remember for a time he wore the Spider-Man mask. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. Um, but he was a character that was very, uh, I, I consider Halloween themed just because of the, the, the difference, the differences in his outfits every week, you know, right. it wasn't like the same outfit over and over. Uh, moving on, dude, one of the creepiest, I would guess factions of the late nineties attitude era. The Brood and Gangrel. Oh, yes, absolutely. The Blood Baths. Do you remember the? Remember when they I, gave Road Dog and Deborah the blood? Those were like yeah. the two most blood baths that stood out the most to me. Because Deborah was for one, she was wearing all white, so yeah. any color. And the puppies. I didn't care about the puppies. 
It was more just her wearing that white outfit and then covered in blood. Yeah, it was very image. carry. Yes. Like, very carry like. I was just going to say that. Uh, you know, when you when we first talked about doing this and I was like, this is, you know, we should do this. Uh, the brood totally, yeah. totally my mind. And in their entrance, they got raised through the elevator, through the stage. They walked that song, brown, 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 whatever. The chalice of blood. Yes, I was just going to say, you know, Gangrel drinking the chalice, spitting it out, which was sick. Right, but and, you know, and this goes for both versions of the brood, the Edge and Christian version, and then when the Hardys uh, became part of the brood, remember that? I do not. You do not. No, they. I uh, that's when the Hardys came into their own. They were their manager, quote unquote, was uh, Michael Hayes, and they turned on Michael Hayes and joined Gangrel and the Brood, and they became the new Brood when I, Edge and wow, Christian yeah. became. Uh, on, they went on their own. I did. Yeah, and Matt and Jeff came out, and they would wear their hair down all crazy in front of their faces. And they wore red shirts with the black jeans. Wow, was that yeah. before they were the Hardy like yeah. big as the Hardy Boys? Yeah. Wow, it's, I don't even remember that. There you go. Wow, I feel ashamed of myself right you now. Should be. Um, Papa Shango, good old witch doctor, when he made that oh, black yes. ooze come out of uh, Ultimate Warrior's skull when Ultimate Warrior's cutting that promo wearing a WWF jacket. Uh-huh. That was some crazy stuff, man. Back then, you know, voodoo and everything like that to be uh, in the late 80s, early 90s. You know, that stuff was, uh, it was kind of taboo. A lot of people look at Papa Shango as just another character because uh, of the characters that Charles Wright has played. But at the same time, it's just like, dude, it's Papa Shango, you know? Right. It's very creepy because they didn't have anything like that at the time. That's I think Papa Shango was starting to phase out and Undertaker was starting to phase in. Mm-hmm. Um, got your boy on here. Vampiro. Oh, yeah. Vampiro back in the day in WCW. Crazy looking dude, you know. Um, didn't really know what to make of him. You know, you're like, well, this is like a crackhead sting. But then you're like, <laughs> well, no, because he's a vampire. He was like the misfit wrestler. Yeah. Like the band, the misfits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With them. Yeah, and it was just one of those things where like, okay, is he a vampire? Is he just a goth guy? Is he a zombie? <laughs> yeah, you didn't know, but... He's- and then is he vampiro. vampiro? Yeah, exactly. You know, hey, whatever. It worked. It got the point across. It worked, and it's still. You know what? His. I think it was more of a creepier look than it was performance he, and uh, entrance. His. Because I don't remember him having like a creepy dude. Eerie his, when he did his return match in Lucha Underground. Uh, earlier this year, his entrance was just totally creepy, like yeah. the evil, satanic priest, and oh, crazy. it was awesome. Um, another one that's on the list because their outfit was actually resembles a costume more than horror. Glacier. Oh my god! Sub Zero Rip Off. Rip Off. Yeah. WCW. <laughs> All the money and promotion that went into that guy probably won the award for best Sub Zero outfit. Yeah, that was a that was a massive bomb right there, man. Shout out to the next guy on our list, Steve Lombardi. And I say Steve Lombardi because this is another wrestler who has used so many costumes and aliases over the years. Better known as the Brooklyn that's, Brawler. Yeah, I was going to say it's the Brooklyn Brawler, right? Yeah, but he was also Abe Knuckleball Schwartz. Remember him? Where he came out with the baseball painted face looking yeah. like the Warriors? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Steve Lombardi is another guy. He was big time jobber. But he was one of those jobbers that had like all these weird Halloween gimm- Like if you go to Party City... And you go to their adult uh, costume section, 99% of the stuff they carry is something that Steve Lombardi probably did. <laughs> he was the guy who was who was mining his gimmicks from the Halloween costume you know, section. That's awesome. That was all they fit in the budget for him. Of course, you can't have a list with people of makeup without putting Sting on the list. And when I say Sting, I'm not referring to Surfer Sting from the 80s and 90s. I'm more referring to the commonly known Crow Sting. Right. Um... Even though he, I don't think he was meant to be scary, it was still eerie how he pulled off the stuff in WCW, you know, just hanging up in the rafters, looking all sad like the crow, coming down from the rafters, right. baseball bat, black jacket, not saying anything. Just very eerie feeling, very creepy. Like I said, I don't think it, it was not obviously intended for horror, mm-hmm. but it still gave off that vibe. Right. You know, and then it was really scary when he joined the Wolfpack, just because, you know, he's part of the Wolfpack. Yeah, and even scarier when he became Joker's thing in TNA. Yeah, that's I would have. I wish I could have seen that. No, you don't. No, it was no. bad. You caught a glimpse of it on Raw uh, before Night of Champions when he destroyed Seth Rollins' statue. Yeah, and he was like, "Woo!" 
were doing all that stupid stuff on the garbage can, and he was like, just being really silly. Yeah. That was pretty much oh. a glimpse of it. You didn't miss anything. Oh, that's good then. <laughs> Here's a guy you might not remember, because I don't think you were uh, you were watching at the time. Mordecai. More, no, can't say I know who Mordecai is. Picture The Undertaker mm-hmm. in reverse. The Undertaker's all bl- the all-black dead man, right? Right. Mordecai is the all-white fallen angel. Okay. Mordecai reminded me of The Undertaker in a way where he would come out, he was all in white, like I said. He would come out with this gigantic cross. And he would just, like, he was the complete opposite of Undertaker. He was like an angel. A demon slayer angel kind of guy. It was really, really weird. Now, was this a WWE? Yeah. He was WWE? Yeah, huh? very short time. They they hyped this man like you wouldn't believe. And then he was on SmackDown. He was on the SmackDown brand for about two, three months. And then he disappeared. They couldn't get the gimmick over. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, it was like Undertaker and Mordecai Light and Day. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> um... Another one, you, I don't know if you if you watched it, uh, Kevin Thorne. He was part of the WWE-branded ECW. When ECW was under, like when they yeah, were like, punk and stuff like I that. I kind of watched that. Kevin Thorne was first. the vampire guy. Okay. We had like a, the tie. Yeah. He was a vampire. Um, he wasn't bad. It just, you know, it would have been nice if they would have did a little bit more with him. Um, he was one of those guys where he had a nice rep coming in. He didn't do anything with the company, really. They, they didn't push him. Uh-huh. And then when he left the company, he still had a nice rep on, on the independent scene. So, classic superhero here. The Blue Blazer. Oh, the Blue Blazer. The Blue Blazer. Now, was the Blue Blazer... It was Owen Hart. It was always Owen Hart? I believe so. So, there wasn't somebody portraying that character before no, Owen Hart I, I was? No, I believe it was Owen Hart. I'm not 100% on it, so... You know, you bring up all this, we're going to have to do an episode in the future of just bad gimmicks. Oh, God. <clears throat> now, back to the Boogeyman. Where, I, I totally missed, the Boogeyman was completely off my radar. When he showed Smackdown up for Roll Rumble last year, I was like, what the heck is this Smackdown, guy? Smackdown mid-2000s. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So was he kind of like a Papa Shango-esque kind of character, or more like... Yes and no. A literal Boogeyman. Um, a little bit of both. His okay. big thing was... I'm the boogeyman, and I'm coming to get you. And he would do a lot of backstage vignettes and, like, like scare people legitly. Uh-huh. Um, and that was his thing. People hated wrestling because he'd come out, and he'd try to shove worms in their face, and then he would eat them. Really weird. Yeah, that's very weird. He was actually on one of the Tough Enough seasons. He was one of the guys on Tough Enough that, if I'm correct, he was the one that they kicked out because he lied about his age. Uh-huh. And he said he was a lot younger than what he really was. Yeah, what's the point of that? Because they wouldn't hire you if you're... Ah, okay, you know? I get it. Because he's it. like, I can go, but they're just like, your age concerns us. Kind of right, thing. right. Um, dude, the ultimate warrior. <clears throat> the ultimate warrior. I could see that. The, the, paint, the face but... paint, the tassels. <clears throat> yeah, no, I could... So, no, you, you just like with the blue blazer went to the ultimate warrior. I have to ask you, in your compiling of this list of characters, both scary and... Just costing me. You got Hurricane Holmes? No. I totally wow. forgot about the Hurricane. You forgot about the Hurricane. There's a lot of characters I know that I forgot about. My thing was, I made this list uh, last night. Mm-hmm. And I laid down with Harley to watch Aladdin. And we both fell asleep. And when I woke up, the like usually if we fall asleep watching TV, I'll wake up right away and the movie's still playing or the cartoon is still playing. Right. No, we were knocked out. Like, the phone was still on. Like, the screen was still on. It was on my chest. She fell asleep on my arm. And then the TV, Aladdin, was already back to the main menu. Like, we had slept through the whole thing, you know? Right. So I didn't get to finish it. And I knew there was more. Um, but, yeah, Ultimate Warrior, man. Definitely could see that, right? Yeah, no, I, definitely. I could see I could see the warrior right there. Um, mankind. <clears throat> mankind. The original. Show. Not, show. not the... The Not little the, little Mr. Saturday have a nice mankind. day. Yeah, no, no, no. The original Mankind with the all brown outfit. The rocking and ripping his hair out. Yes. Mankind, like the That was disturbed. very Silence of the Lambs. Uh, very, um, not Marilyn Manson. What's the other guy's name? Uh, not Marilyn. Uh, why did I say Marilyn Manson? That's not Charles Manson. Charles That's Manson, what I meant. okay. Charles Manson. Very, you know, just out there like that. And uh, the last um, pair 
I would say, that I have on this list. Hurricane Helms. Damn, I can't believe I forgot about that. What's up with that? Yeah, yeah. What is, what is up with that? <laughs> uh, the last one, <laughs> because it's Halloween, and what do you do for Halloween besides trick-or-treat? You dress up. Totally. Fake Razor Ramon and fake Diesel. Do yeah, you it's, remember that? I do. I do, and it blows my mind that who was, who was fake Diesel? Um, it wasn't Kane. It was uh, Doc Gallows, I believe. It wasn't Kane. No, I don't think it was. Kane. I thought fake. I thought fake Diesel was Kane. Glenn Jacobs, remember. right? Isn't that Kane's name? Yeah. I I really thought that. Uh, I'll find out. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> but that was the most. Like, goofy crap ever, dude. It was Kane. Glenn Thomas Jacobs. It was Kane. Wow, Kane so, was the fake So Kane, Kane makes your list twice. Yeah. Yeah, that was... What a terrible concept. Rick Bognar was Razor Ramon. I don't know who that is. Someone that obviously faded into obscurity. Yep. Yeah, so... Being that, you know, you dress up for Halloween, those two crossed my mind on the list. I'm like, yeah, of course. Fake Razor, fake Diesel. So. Well, I, I actually pulled up some uh, some images of Kane as fake Diesel. And, like, I can't, I really, it's, it's quite amazing, dude. <laughs> That's funny. I think he probably would have had more success if he looked like that, but was his own character. Right? Oh, yeah, God, just... that's bad. It's just I terrible. forgot how horrible that looked. <clears throat> I remember when they came out, it was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> like, where's Bill McKenna, and... head designer of Mattel. If you, Mattel WWE action figures, if you're listening to this, we need to get fake Diesel and fake Razor Ramon action figures. Seriously. Those would be great. That would be, that would be so awesome, man. Give me a Isaac Yankum. Right? So there's the King love. There you go. You get no more love. Yeah, no more love. So that's all I got, man. Is there anybody else you can think of? Oh man, that you, that you've missed. You know yeah. who's? Oh, I was just thinking of someone and I forgot. You know, going with costumes, you could almost Stardust. Any Stardust, Stardust, and Gold Dust. Stardust, Gold Dust, any Luch, Luchador. I was psychosis. trying to avoid that. Yeah, I thought about all that psychosis you know, and Hooventude and Lucian, La Parka, Lucian Thunder Liger, and all that. I was trying to avoid all that because that's a whole genre. That guy that came out dressed up like a Saiyan and got his. Oh, Mr. 450. <laughs> um, man, I'm so stuck on the cane is the fake diesel thing. That amazes me. That's funny. It's amazing. That's funny. It's too funny. Like, it's too sweet. It's, it's too funny. Virgil as well. Yeah? Yeah, for portraying a wrestler. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome, dude. That was a great one. Uh, you know, I really, I really can't think of anybody that you've uh, didn't. Uh, I, you know, scary. You know who used to scare me was uh, the um, uh, Kevin. Uh, crap, he was in the Dungeon of Doom. Kevin Sullivan. Kevin Sullivan. Really? The task. Well, no, Taskmaster. Was it Taskmaster? Yeah. I always thought he was weird and creepy as a kid. Man, he creeped me out. Wow. I was always like, ah. Oh. And, in, and and I still wonder if that guy is just like a weird dude or if he's normal or what. Yeah, he's normal. You know, it's kind of like Psycho Sid, you know. You have always hear these stories about Psycho Sid. Yeah. And then he's just like a totally normal dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. Costumes. You forgot. Big Van Vader. Eh. He had that big, huge. Oh, the Mastodon. The Mastodon thing that he yeah, wore out yeah, to the Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Or what about the Road Warriors? I deliberately left them off. You deliberately just left shoulder, them off? Yeah, those are just shoulder pads. That, that's true. Yeah, because yeah, if you put them on, then you got to put the Ascension on. And exactly. That's really just face paint yeah, and yeah. some towels, yeah. some, some ball towels. Or, it's not, it's, it's... I don't know what you call that thing. Yeah. Ball towels. <laughs> Loincloth? Loincloth. <laughs> 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 I just I got it I, I got it it was just in more interesting terms ball claws that's funny oh man uh, 
So, oh. uh, <laughs> woo. So, right. uh, you know, everything we do, comicsremix.com. Uh, follow us on, <laughs> on Twitter at comicsremix at the spinner rack. Uh, check out uh, Instagram stuff from uh, Alex Shy Town Cylon. Check out uh, reviews remixed. Remixed reviews. Remixed reviews. I've now said that backwards twice. Um, check out the websites live. You know, everything's up there. Check us out on social media, Facebook. Facebook, like the Facebook page. Check out uh, Remix Reviews Facebook page. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I think Just that's... stay posted to the website. Oh, and then uh, we'll, we'll be in a buy next week. Yeah. And uh, possibly a two-week buy. We're not sure yet. Like like we said, uh, it's, you know, it's the holidays for us. Family, A lot of family birthdays, a lot of family stuff. I know for me personally, I know yeah. you. Also, um, so, you know, we may or may not, obviously... Social media will let you know if you subscribe to our YouTube page. I'll also let you know when, if we upload a new video that week. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll be back in uh, two weeks with uh, more goodness leading into the closing out of our season. And uh, Word. Maybe by that time we'll have some news on uh, what, what's going on with TNA. Maybe. Because uh, who knows? Maybe did, did, did WWE buy them? Did they not? Inquiring minds want to know. Well, at least this one does. Yeah. So until then, enjoy your Halloween. Stay safe. Check your candy. Buy your ball cloths for your costumes. <laughs> Good night.